So this is our lawn, but the grass has grown so well in recent weeks that uh, I've decided not to bother cutting it with a lawnmower. And I've put a temporary fence up and our new heifers can come in and graze it. But they've got enough of a pick that they've just come in, had a look, taken the tops off the grass, and then they're leaving it for now. But let's go and see how they are. It's a bit of a, a rig up this. That's a salt lick box. It needs a, needs a couple of screws in there, but it can do another winter. So this is the wettest February for 70 years. So these heifers have been here for two weeks now. What we're doing, we're letting them take the top off the grass and then we're moving them to a new paddock. So we're not grazing too hard. We're uh, letting them have a, a really good pick. I want them to, um, to pick up and grow, but then we're also going to let the grass recover. It's still, uh, like late summer, early autumn, so there's a good potential for the grass to recover and and then we'll uh, ration it and strip graze it more late autumn, early winter. We have got 66 bales of baleage there for the winter feed. And the way things are looking, I think, uh, I think 11 heifers and two store heifers that we've got in the other paddock probably enough stock for, uh, for this year. We could buy some more, we've been offered some more, but we'll stick with this number. They're coming on all right. They're getting a bit more used to the dog. They were very skittish in the first week. Hey Luna, here, come. We don't want too much more rain. I'm not going to complain about about it. Last year it was too too dry, and it never rained at all after the middle of summer. But really dry. It's quite wet now, but this is my Kaiwaka wet weather gear. This is Storm Force. The cuffs have got a rubber seal on them. I'm wearing um, bib trousers, so this is a really good setup. If I've got to work outside all day, I need to wear clothing like this, otherwise if I get cold, I lose circulation in my hands and my feet, and it's a real hassle. So good clothing is essential over here. Likewise in the summer, you need to be able to protect yourself from the, from the sun and sunburn. So you've got to be used to all conditions. The poplars are still looking green, but in some places I've heard that the leaves are already dropping off. It's just a change of the season. Anyway, we'll give you more updates soon.